Hello everyone. Hello City. Hello Mr. Aris. Today we are going to learn how to construct or simply make sentences from a given picture. Well, that's interesting. Can you teach me how to do that? Of course City. Learning how to make sentences is an important skill. It is very useful when you're preparing for your UPSR examination. First, let's look at this question. Now, when we have to make sentences from a picture, the first thing to do is to study the picture. Study? Well, study as in making an observation. I know, like mm, looking at something carefully. That's right, Siti. Now, tell me, what else can you see? Words. Some words related to the picture. That is right. These are called keywords. Now, keywords are supposed to help you make sentences related to the picture. Must I use all of them to make the sentences? No, not necessary. Because sometimes there are words which you are not familiar with and you might not know what they mean. But when you use your own words, do keep to what is shown in the picture. However, in order to be able to make good sentences, you have to build up your vocabulary of nouns, verbs, adjectives and adverbs. Are you aware of that? Mm, nouns, verbs, adjective, and adverb? Well, if you have been doing a lot of reading lately, these words are already there in your mind. Don't worry. Yes, I'm aware of that. So, what's next? Well, the next thing to pay attention to is your tenses in making those sentences. Remember, use the same tense form for all the sentences you make. If you are writing in the present tense, everything has to be written in the present tense. Yes, I know. The verbs especially. Good. So finally, read your sentences after you have constructed them and check for mistakes in spelling, grammar, and punctuation. Wow! Do I have to remember all that? Yes, I'm afraid you have to, City. For the purpose of the examination, each pupil will be assessed on his or her ability to make grammatically correct sentences, good usage of language, and the ability to express ideas. Can you please explain that further? Well, in other words, Marks will be given on good grammar and language use and how well you describe your ideas in your answers. Hmm, I am beginning to get the idea now. Use a variety of sentence structures and a wide range of vocabulary to express ideas. Ideas must be clearly presented and linked well. Correct use of spelling and punctuation is necessary. Alright, I'll be careful when I am making sentences. Okay, now let's look at the picture again.
Can you list down some nouns related to the picture? Nouns are naming words. So I can list down man, woman, child, car, train, umbrella, and rain. Good. I can see that you understand what nouns are, Siti. Now, how about listing out some adjectives? You know what adjectives are, right? Yes. Adjective describes a person or a thing or give more information about them. Mm, adjective related to the picture could be heavy, dirty, high, and bad. That's a good list you have. Um, how about action words? You mean verbs? Yes, that's right. Can you list some verbs? Mm, walk, carry, moved, overflowed, fair, rose. Mm. Now, Siti, you have given a good list of nouns, adjectives and verbs related to the picture. I think you are now ready to write the five sentences. Oh, I just can't wait to get started. Go ahead. You can use what you have listed and what has been given in the question. All right, let me try the first one. Heavy rain, fair, for many days. The drains overflowed with dirty water. The water rose very high, causing a bad flood. Everyone moved around using umbrellas. A woman had to carry her baby and walk in the flood. That was excellent, City. You have come up with five good sentences. I believe you can score good marks in your exam. I have to thank you too, Mr. Aris, for guiding me. I'll practice more on my own. And when we meet the next time... That's great. I'm glad that you have learned something useful today. Now, let's recall some of the important points to remember when making sentences. So, friends, use the keywords to help you only if you know their meaning. Be careful with the tenses used. Read your sentences after you have made them to check for mistakes in spelling, grammar and punctuation. Use a wide range of vocabulary to express your ideas. A lot of reading shall help you on this one. All right, City. That's all for today. Till we meet again. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.